If you've just picked up the iPhone 11, you might be thinking about grabbing some accessories for it. There's about a million things out there for it, but I've cut the fat and boiled it down to my top picks. And these are things which I think are genuinely worth buying. So let's dive into it. Let's start off with wireless headphones. And I want to be extremely clear from the get go, you do not need AirPods to enjoy wireless headphones, but they are going to give you the best experience on the iPhone. They're by far the most convenient, and in a way they are that quintessential iPhone accessory. Don't get me wrong though, there's a huge array of other truly wireless headphones out there, ones that are better sounding and are cheaper. For instance, OnePlus's Wireless Bullets 2 are a really good example of that, but they're not gonna work quite as well as AirPods do, and trust me, the shortcomings of the AirPods are totally outweighed by how convenient and how good they just work. If you're coming from the iPhone 7 or earlier, one of the best new features of the newer iPhones is wireless charging. Plop your phone down on one of these and watch it juice back up. Ideal. My wireless charger of choice is this beautiful one from Carved. It's a little more expensive at £46, but it really is the best looking one I've found. Because of the way it's designed, each one is unique and equally stunning. If you have a wooden desk like mine, it blends in nicely and doesn't look out of place. It's crazy slim and supports the faster wireless charging speeds too, which is great. Obviously, you don't need to spend that much money on a wireless charger. You can pick up a decent one for around £20, but it will not look as nice as this. It's worth me mentioning too, most wireless chargers don't come with a plug either, so you're going to have to grab one of those as well. Okay, admission, I don't use a case on my phone. I generally buy one and then the day after I've bought it, it just annoys me so I end up taking it off. I'm a real terror for it. I actually buy loads of cases because I think they look really nice and then I just end up not using them. But I know I'm in the minority and a lot of people use cases for lots of different reasons. So I'm gonna give you some advice of what I would do if I was going to keep a case for the iPhone 11. My advice for a case for the iPhone 11 is to buy something that lets the color shine through, but don't buy the Apple official see-through case. It's like 45 pounds and I don't see what benefit it has over any other kind of see-through gel case. This one was from Spigen and it was like six pounds 99 and I really can't see why you'd spend so much more on the Apple one. I actually went a little further and got this one from Casetify, which I actually got to customize a little, but that still didn't sway me to use it on the daily. I guess I just don't really get along with cases. Moving on is the only smartwatch worth talking about in my opinion, the Apple Watch. And this is by no means an essential accessory, but it's a really, really good one. If you're looking to track fitness, keep yourself safe, or just straight up tell the time, the Apple Watch is the place to do it on the iPhone. If you can, shoot for the Series 4 or 5. The Series 5 is obviously the best of the always on display, but the Series 4 is still a really fantastic option and it has that redesign that it underwent recently. I actually have a review for that, so I'll leave the link up here for you to check it out. Long and short though, I wasn't sold on smartwatches until I tried the Series 4 coming from the Series 1 initially, and I'm still using it to this day, and I think that speaks volumes. This thing has been a fantastic addition to the iPhone, and it seems like only Apple are the ones really dedicated to keeping smartwatches great. This next one is for all of you photo and video geeks out there. It's an attachable anamorphic lens for the iPhone 11. And it actually fits on any phone as long as you can get the camera to line up with the lens. But the iPhone 11 is known for having fantastic video and this additional lens is just another way to really up the quality. But apart from look kind of strange, what does it actually do? Well, it's a way of making your video footage feel more cinematic as such. You'll get the wonderful lens flares that are really popular in big movies, and it will allow you to fit more in the frame, kind of like a wide lens. And on top of that, it also gives you a more shallow depth of field. So it's all good stuff. Bear in mind though, you will have to download an app for it to work correctly. Something like the Moment Camera app will do a really good job, but it is a little bit extra you have to pay for. Moments actually make a huge range of these lenses you can attach to your phone, but they can be quite pricey if you're just looking to dabble. I actually picked this one from Amazon and it was around 60 pounds and it's been giving me pretty decent results, so I've been more than happy with it. 
The final thing I will mention, and it only gets a mention because really it's two accessories in one, and really Apple should be including it in the box, is the 18 watt fast charger and the Apple Lightning to USB-C cable. The iPhone 11 does support fast charging, but Apple doesn't put it in the box unless you're buying the more expensive iPhone 11 Pro models. You need two things to make it work, a plug that supports 18 watts or over, you don't have to get an Apple official one, and a lightning to USB-C cable. Bought together, it's going to cost around 30 to 40 pounds, but if you want to charge your iPhone up 50% within like 30 minutes, this is the only way to do it. So that rounds up my top picks for accessories for the iPhone 11. If you've got any that you use on the daily or other things that I haven't listed here, then I'd love to hear about them. So just mention them in the comments below and I'll take a look and have a read. If you enjoyed the video, pop a like. If you loved it, pop a sub and hit the bell and I will see you all in the next one.